And welcome back, citizens. We're all welcome back. A little bit more small land, so let's talk. Let's talk uh, forge and furnace. Two machines that you really need for the in-game stuff. So first up is furnace, which you need that heavy chitin. You will get the heavy chitin by killing cockroaches. Out in the Greylands, which is this zone over here. So you're going to spend a lot of time there killing cockroaches. They very easily are killed with this stinger lance that we reviewed in a previous video. After you build the furnace, you will then move on to build the forge, which obviously takes some stuff related to unlocking the furnace, but doesn't necessarily take items from the furnace. You just need to place this before you can place this. And then this unlocks all of the major in-game stuff, so... Uh, iron pick, lubber mace, all sorts of cool stuff. Long arrow, that's cool. So there also should be some new stuff craftable via the crafting station, but all of this is going to come in massively handy. And very cool. Which, that really makes me want to check the workbench. There should be a new bow somewhere. Like, there was the recurve. I may have missed it. Either way, that is, uh, yeah, the composite bow. There we go. Lizard claw. Oh my gosh. Okay. Not something I've even fought once yet. Okay. So composite bow also just unlocked, but just thought I'd drop these machines really quick. So this is, this is true in game at this point. This is gonna be the best of the best gear and definitely something to grind towards. Um, very cool. But on that note, let's call it there. That's just kind of a quick, what do you need to do to get these machines unlocked? Obviously for the furnace. You need that uh, clay mortar, and you get clay from way over here, this whole zone here. I'm not sure what it's called, but there's a lot of stuff going on there. But on that note, y'all take care, and please do like, subscribe, and continue on enjoying Small Land, and look out for more videos soon.